that's the next one today. I was tip one by twelve and release. I have more effects this time. So my from five on ten point one. Let's move on. Okay, let's turn my light down so you can see this a little better. Let's start by the lighting here. Here's my camera to focus. Yeah, there we go. So please watch my can't put too late on my first one. And the one there's another bug fix I've noticed here. That when you go into details, when when you click details on the photo. Let me try here dropping one of my photos here. Hold on. Make when I airdrop this to my success. When you click on details, they fix the issue where it's crashing you. When you do the details in your photos app, they fix the crashing issue. The final hand fixed it. That's a great thing to fix. Let me move to in here. Ian, well, let me close my door here. Sorry about that. Okay, so, I'll take the other camera on here. Is that when you pull down notifications right here, you don't have to go directly on the app, it's already touch on it, just go directly in it, you don't have to do that anymore, which I cannot show you. Because I don't have it running right now. But I found out another hidden feature. Like, when you're dialing, like, a phone number here, when 3D touch on here, like, we see this little call button here, when you 3D touch on that, you get the three additional options, which I missed in the last video, so I'm going to here. Call, FaceTime video, or FaceTime audio. As a cool you can three touch and do all this cool stuff right here. Very cool. That's what I found about right here. Another great feature here. And another one of the messages that I missed in the previous video. Like, when I go in my thing here. Sorry about that. Let me wait for the stop here. So we three touch and contact now. You get to this right here. Right, pretty cool and you get all these additional trade contact when you 3d touch on contact up here in your messages like when you see this little circle there when you 3d touch on that you get to addition off like four additional object call message facetime at the existing contact or create new contact pretty cool huh well, that's a great feature here but and another thing i've noticed that the three the pages here are a lot smoother when you scroll through your control center it's a lot smoother now Things work a lot faster here too. Like my home app is not working again. Yes, that's amazing. And the battery icon, they changed it so it's now white instead of black on the battery icon right here. So before it was a black iPhone right here, now it's all white right here. Pretty cool, huh? And we go to your workout here. You click in your workout, you've done in. There should be a place to tap somewhere. I still don't know where it is. I don't know why it's not showing up for me here. So like here, when I go down to here. But it does show the weather and everything, but I cannot get to show the places. Because there was a new tab for places now. Which I do not know where it went here. That feature only appears when he goes somewhere else, like walking somewhere like my dad out of here on his launch. But WatchOS 3.0.1 has not been released yet. I just get WatchOS 3.0, so WatchOS 3.1 will be released very soon, so there will be no 3.0.1 or 3.0.2 for the Apple Watch. None of that. So I've already updated my from 5 to 10.1 beta 1. I go in my settings here. General software update 10.1 is off today. Sorry about the ring no, I don't know what that is. So 10.1 14 BT 55C and 14 10 for here 14 A 456. See so even the carrier update for 25.0, 25.5, see that? And 
there is another issue which still works on the iPads, but when you type your emoji predictions, like in the quick type, you go to messages here, like when you do quick type down here, wait for us to finish here. Like when you type a simple thing like car, something should have appeared here, like emoji prediction, like an emoji of a car, but it's not working for the iPhones. Like it's only working for the iPads right now. I don't know if that's a bug or something. Yeah, because Apple, please, if you're anyone who's watching this video, please tell Apple to release that 10.0.3 to fix this bug. Right here, it's really annoying. So it only works when you do the, the emojis here, when you type in the globe watch car. See that? It kind of does that. What it's supposed to do is give me emojis like this. That's what they're supposed to do. Which apparently it's not doing that right now. Because when I was on iOS 10 Beta 1, up 10, iOS 10 Beta 1, 2, 3, Game 4, and they work perfectly well. Right when I hit iOS 10 Beta 5, it stopped working on me. Actually, it was iOS 10 Beta 6, was 6, 7, and 8. Now when I hit iOS 10 Beta 6, the emoji prediction stopped working for me. I do not know why. So Apple, please fix this bug in the in the next update for 10.0.3. Well, oh, forgot one more thing here. I'm gonna do an HDMO5 compatibility test for each of these here. To see the scores here. So it's exactly the same 391. Pretty amazing, huh? And I fixed the bug where my LTE would not work. My 4G, my bug had to install the APM profile where it says Sorry, that's not activated. So here's my 4S here. I'll show you an example of my 4S here. If I turn the Wi-Fi off, and I still have the 3G, let me turn my diamond brightness. Then when I try to load a web page here, watch what happens. See this? I get this. Then the silver is not connected to the internet, even though I have 3G. That's what happened to my 6S. It still said AT&T 4G, but it still has no internet. So Apple, please fix this so I don't have to use the APM profile anymore. That's a really annoying bug. So 10.0.1, I don't know if they fixed this yet. Let me go ahead and try to remove in the APN profile to see if they fixed this bug. Checking for update, watch carefully. Because when I before I updated, it did not work for me. See that? I get this. As you can see there, watch what happens when I try to load a web page, I get this. So after I remove the APN profile, I still have 4G, but I get this. So far, I kind of opened the web page because the iPhone's not connected to the internet, but it actually is. So that's one of the most annoying bugs in the OS right now. So Apple, please really have to fix this bug. This the third data network bug for the iPhone 6S in 6S Plus. After a restore. So I could start doing this to me after I restored my device when I got my success fixed in the memory corruption issue in 9.3.3. So Apple, please fix this bug so it won't happen again. Because I want my internet back. So I had to do this. I had to go to unlock it that in the... Let me, so let me turn on my Wi-Fi here. And so this web page is loading. So what I did was I, I went to the APN side here. It went to AT&T LTE, and I hit create APN, then I installed this, then I turned off my Wi-Fi again, I then this happened. Oh! Apparently it did not work this time. Apple, please fix this bug. It's the most annoying bug I've ever seen. Apple, please fix this nasty bug. Kind of annoyed right now. I wish Apple to fix this nasty bug. Nav told me to remove this. So there's what happened. I clicked the wrong carrier. So I went to this and I did the exact same thing when I reload it. It still says, oh there it goes. See that? After I restalled the MPA profile, see it loading again. So Apple, please fix the NAS security of the 
Sutter did a bug. Where it won't give me four LTE but does 4G. Now I have to use the profile. Please fix this apple. That's it for this little video. Peace out.